Hello everyone, this is Fork, and today we are going to be playing a new game. Uh, this is Fable Fortune. Uh, it is uh, just sort of been in, released in alpha, uh, so it's not finished right now, but I thought I would um, I was give an opportunity to play the game and see how it works. I'm um, really looking forward to playing the game. It's based on the Fable universe, uh, but it is a trading card game similar to... Um, well, like Hearthstone and, I guess, Magic Gathering and such. Um, I know very little about it. I'm going kind of going into it cold turkey. Uh, so, yeah. So let's go ahead and sort of start looking. It's not in um, full... As far as I can tell, there's no HD uh, capability for resolutions. So right now there's only these four resolutions available. I'm sure that will change. Again, this is an alpha. Um, so, and then... Yeah, that's about all the options it gives to you right now. Uh, I do see that it has 40 packs here for me to open. Um, I think I'm going to leave that alone right now until I actually know what the heck's going on. I think I'll just play... I think I have some cards... Sort of to start out with. I don't think, from what I can tell... There's currently a tutorial, but let's go ahead and find out by pushing play and see what happens. Alright, select an event. Let me see. Royal Wumble, PvP, Fairfax, Oakfield, Graveyard, Special Co-op Challenge to the Max. Train let's do training. Let's find out how the game works. So training. Uh, let's do normal. So select a deck. So I'm guessing these are like our classes. Alchemist, Gravedigger, Knight, Merchant, Prophet, and Shapeshifter. Um, let's start with something pretty basic, like the knight, I think. Oh, here we go. Knight, marshal, one-time pig farmer turned sworn protector of the realm, noble, forthright, and a master of the pitchfork. Marshal serves as an inspiration to peasants and poor sign enthusiasts across Albion. His strengths are summoning peasants and increasing strength. His hero power is enrollment, summon a 1-1 peasant. Okay. Uh, and then this is his various cards in his deck. So, okay. I'm not going to go through all of those quite yet. So let's back up and let's check out everyone else then if we're going to get a short uh, reading of them. The Alchemist. Miracle. Miracle, the Grand Duchess of Draughts, Distiller of Destiny, and Magnificent Mixer of Medicines. Gather around as Albion's pioneer potions creates tantalizing tonics before your very eyes. Strengths manipulating strength and health. Devious combo combos. Her hero power is concoct. Add a vial to your hand. And I don't exactly know what a vial is, but I'm sure it will make sure sense. Well, probably little potion things like this jar of leeches. Again, I'm totally cold turkey going into this, so I know nothing about it. I kind of want to keep it. Uh oh, something went wrong. Well, okay, you start the game. Sorry about that. Again, the game is an alpha, so we'll, there's a lot to forgive when it comes to issues. Flaming Foul Studios. That's the that's the company. I was trying to remember it. All right, so back to play. Training, normal. All right, the Gravedigger. Temple. Temple is living proof that you don't need much to become a hero. Just the talking, spell-slinging skull of your great-great-great-grandfather, who just so happened to be the most powerful necromancer in his age, and his spellbook. Strength summoning many units, resurrecting the dead. Her hero power is Exum. Summon a 1-1 crumbling corpse. Okay. Back. And the Merchant. Barter long ago sold for a single gold coin, now a fearsome trader of the high seas. Buy low, sell high, swashbuckle always. Strengths acquiring gold. I, gold, I think, is what you spend. Yeah, I think it's that top number in the left. It's what you spend to play cards. Upgrading spells and use hero power. Add a gold piece to your hand. Okay. I could be wrong. Uh, it's just a guess. Okay, apparently it's having an issue with popping in and out of those guys. 
So I think what we'll do is go ahead and choose one and move forward just in case that happens again. The game currently is available is on Kickstarter. Um, I think I forget what the donation is uh, to get um, access early access to the game to the alpha. Um, I'll be sure to have links in the description to the Kickstarter page and everything else you need to know about the game. So let's go back to play. And training. Normal. Let's go ahead and pick the knight. And play him. Knight versus whoever this guy is. So here's my cards. Choose your path. You have 30 seconds to pick. Time remaining. Uh, Lynchpool League. Play three units with more strength and health. Play two damage spells. Spend 12 gold the money pit. Uh, uh, reward, you get a hob ambusher. Let's go ahead and choose Albion's Got Magic. So my starting hand, choose any cards to replace. So that's, I think, attack and health. Let's get rid of him and him. We've entered... Albion's got magic conjuring competition. Show off your skills to the judge. Play two damaging spells. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, I really like this sort of 3D look going on here. How much time do I have to play? It doesn't really say. So you, you create a challenge for yourself, and that will give you a reward. That's interesting. What is this? That's guard... And that's my special power. 29 health. Um, how much coins do I have to spend? I really can't tell. Well, obviously th three, because I can play him. So let's go ahead and play you. Oh, there's my gold to spend. And then the unit cannot attack the turn it's played. That makes sense. I can't do anything else because I've used all my coins. So, end turn. Picked up a henchman. Yeah, so I like the board. It has this 3D look to it, which is rather nice. Um, I have four to spend. So this, I can make him defensive. I think that's what that means. So let's go ahead and make him defensive. I have three more to spend. Uh, give a friendly unit plus one, plus one. What's up with him? Give a friendly unit plus two strength. If it's a peasant, also plus two health. I don't think he's a peasant. But he can attack. Let's go ahead and attack the main... Uh, well. Him and then have him. Okay, he's on defense. And he dies. Okay, so it's playing as I would predict it to play. Alright. So he has a 2 5 protecting safeguard. This unit does. Okay, enter guard. Safeguard. This this unit does something when it gains guard. Oh, he heals when he gains guard. Okay. Uh, let me see. Give a friendly unit plus one strength and deflect. Two, two damage to an enemy unit and units adjacent to it. Big entrance gain plus one health for each enemy unit. Okay. Let's um, summon a peasant. Hello. Hello. And then give a friendly plus one unit. And we'll also have you guard. Right. I think I understand that. So what did he do? He deal one damage to all damaged units. Oh, okay. 
Okay, that makes sense. Friendly user plus two plus two. I have six to spend. Uh, yeah, let's do this because I need to cast spells for the challenge. And then he can take out him. And I see, so he reflected one of the damage. That's why he didn't die. Interesting. Interesting. I have two more to spend. Uh, I think it's going to be wasted on him. So let's just summon another yes, my lord. peasant. And I think... Yeah, he already went. And I can't go. So we're done. So she, what does she do? She last laugh draw a card. Oh, last laugh must be unit does something when it dies. Okay. Um, rally the troops. Your units gain plus one strength for this turn. Draw a card. Uh, let's definitely do that. And I draw a card. After you summon a peasant, gain plus one strength. How much do I have? Four. So, give a unit plus one plus... So, first, let's... Well, that's actually kind of tough. Uh... Let's put... You out. And then... Summon a peasant. Yes, my lord? So he gains plus one strength, and then let's put him on def let's put him on defend. Oh, I can't do that. I don't know why. Befriend the unit guard. Okay. So I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I cast two of one of my two spells. <laughs> What'd he do? He summoned uh, a pig, okay, who has rush. Ouch. Okay, well, I think, I think that actually went quite well. He lost two men against my little thing. Um, henchman, 8-7. One for each friendly enemy, for each enemy unit. I have eight to spend, so let's do... Uh... Give him that. What does he do? He's on... Yes, I'll take him out. And then I have six, so let's do you <laughs> and you. Yes, my lord. And then let's put you on guard, I think. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Only the best need apply. Do summon a unit gain plus one strength. Okay. That went well. Your units gain plus one strength this turn, draw a card. Oh, that's going to be perfect. So I have nine to spend. So let's do that. And I have six. So let's do. Weapons. Who needs them? The not whole fist fighter will put you on guard because you have nine health. And let's take this guy out. How best to do it? Probably with him. And with one of my peasants. And then we can attack. We can attack him. And that's it. All right. So it's pretty intuitive. I mean, there's nothing that I'm not understanding. 
everyone. What's the special ability? Give adjacent units plus one strength this turn. Okay. Uh oh. Well, that'd be very good for the peasant. So let's put him out. And then we have nine. Let's do the henchman. And a peasant. Yes, my lord. That's four there, so we're gonna do that. And that. And attack him directly. And that's it. Took a bit of damage there, but I think it was worth it. Deal two damage to enemy units and the units adjacent to them. So let's go ahead and cast that. That means I fulfill my quest. So I picked up Pass Rosers of Time Remaining. Uh, good power recruitment. Summon a 1 1 peasant medic. It has can't guard, last laugh, give a friendly plus one. Two of the judges are susceptible. Uh, I guess. Let's go. Good? I don't know what that means, but it changed my look, which is interesting. Oh, and it changed my hero power. Ah, interesting. So if we summon the peasant. Someone need a plaster? He's a different kind of peasant. Ah, cool. And let's go ahead and put him out. He has the rush ability, so let's go ahead and take him out with uh, you. And you. You, we want to go straight for him. You, we go and just go ahead and clear the board out. Oh, we can't go. Uh, let's just go there. And I think that's it. Now we can put someone on guard. Let's put someone on guard. Okay. So deal three damage to your opponent, okay? Gosh. Choose your path. Oh, okay, so another quest. Play three units with more strength and health. Two damage spells or spend 20 gold. Um, I guess we'll do this one. So I get a new quest, which is interesting. Give muscle strength for each other friendly unit. Well, let's go ahead and... Plus one health for each enemy unit. Yep. Big entrance. So he's now at 10 6. Let's go ahead and take him out. And take him out. And attack him. And that's that. I think I've got him next, next turn. I think. Yeah, I think I've got him, because that's five damage, so I can take him out with... And you. And then you. And there's that. That's a victory. Level three marshal. Gain some coins. Rewards. Two blacksmiths. Plus some experience. Level up. So do I... Am I, ah, I gain those, I think. Okay. 